What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, Rebuilding the Carolina Panthers. It has been an up and down season, but we really are, I'm not gonna say in control of our own destiny, but in good position to at least make a playoff run here like many wildcard teams have done before. Trevor Lawrence, all in all, a very good rookie season. Some high points, some low points, but that's to be expected from a rookie quarterback. The receivers are spreading the ball around nicely. Ian Thomas is having a capable season. I do like that Robbie Anderson is kind of fading away here because his contract is up and I don't have plans currently to extend him. And then defensively, this D-line is really turning into a notable unit across the league. Brian Burns has been a little bit more quiet than you would like to see here, but the combination of four guys between Brown, Matos, Chris Jones, you just love to see that cohesion. And then the secondary has been good as well. Dante Jackson's actually coming off a defensive player of the week in which he had 15 tackles and one interception. We will be getting Demario Davis back here soon. Chin's been a little bit more quiet in year two, but all in all, this team is playing very well. So like I said, Jackson wins defensive player of the week. Trevor Lawrence wins offensive player of the week. So some positive notes on a rough three point loss. There's one order of business I need to take care of, something you guys have pointed out in the comments that I want to thank you for. Uh, Trevor Lawrence's superstar X Factor has not been activating, so we are going to have to, you know, have another moment where we interfere with this broken game and fix it. Uh, so we're going to, I guess, re-roll him sort of here so that that ability will actually activate. And there you go. Or you're going to use his upgrade while we're at it. Do the rest of these upgrades here. DJ Moore gets one, gonna go deep threat. Nice. Roger McCreary, who's been a little bit uh, more quiet than I would have hoped after starting his career with a hat trick of interceptions as a rookie. We're gonna go man to man to make him a balanced looking corner. Nice boost there, gets an agility and three man coverage. And we'll just automate these guys. Gilbert's been able to stay healthy there at left tackle as our band-aid option at left tackle. Definitely a big need in the offseason. Uh, but the Chargers here are 6-3. and three. It's a rejuvenated franchise. Justin Herbert's actually playing extremely well here. They are 6-3. and three. They have a new stadium. And this, I think, is an excellent week to use our offensive playage. This is a really difficult Chargers defense to go against with this secondary that we know can ball out and that pass rush. Uh, so hoping for the best here, but this is a big week. We can either become six and four or fall to 500, which is a big difference at this point in the season. I like this new Charger stadium. It looks almost like they renovated their soccer stadium. Uh, electing not to move in with the Rams. We'll go with that idea that they actually forked up the money to upgrade and get in their own building. I like it. I like the look of it. Feels a little bit like their old stadium as well. So let's hop in. We gave up a long field goal drive. Let's see if we can go take the lead. Nice start here. Good blocking. Get caught looking too far downfield and Joey Bosa does his thing. Brings us down to stunt the drive. Really making Lawrence see ghosts on that one. But we're gonna punt this one away and live to see another day. Great coverage inside the 20. Troy Pride, nice tackle. Defense gives up a long touchdown drive. All right, time to wake up. Oh, what a catch by Robbie Anderson. The coverage was good, but the catch was even better. Oh, Ian Thomas finds a hole up the seam. Let's go. Lawrence is in the zone now. High, low, dead eye. 
gosh, Joey Bosa just takes him out of the zone immediately. We need to remember to double team him every single play because he is just a monster. Oh, good blocking downfield. Come on, Curtis. Get in. Excellent play. Okay, Chris Carson. You the man. Oh, just bounce it. They overcommitted. All right, great drive. Way to answer. Jeez. Justin Herbert and this team, they are not playing around. Shannon Wosu tracks us down. Let's go hurry up. Nice throw. Let's keep it moving. Anderson just does not offer a ton after the catch. But it was a nice play regardless. There you go, Christian. There you go. Hurry it up. Lawrence is seven of seven. Good Lord. Ian Thomas was where I was looking, but he got bumped off his route. He got slowed down. Third and 16. Come on, guys. We have got to freaking block Bosa. Not a bad look there. But unfortunately, we will have to punt and really step it up in the second half here. Great punt. Hopefully, they don't score any points off of that. We might even get this ball back. Let's see. And we did. Barring a crazy run here, I don't think we'll do anything with it. The tackling here is just too good. It's going to take us to half. Nice, Reed. Go. Oh, get up field, Samuel. You actually had a chance there. I'm going to go hurry up just to keep them off balance a little bit here. Changing McCaffrey to a little Texas toast, as they like to say. Man, great coverage by Casey Hayward. Thought we might be able to beat him on the corner, but nope. Hayward was right there. Looks like we got a blitz coming. Block Derwin. We're keeping Hunter Bryant in there for that. We got two curls. job similar concept here there you go Thomas this hurry up's working it's keeping that pass rush nice and quiet nice and tired boom bada boom let's go great drive all right defense make a stop Ugh, right late. At least they held him to a field goal. Whew. Lucky that was not a pick six. Definitely a bad read. I like this look, though. As long as Bosa doesn't become a problem here. Ooh, they drop him into coverage. Oh, this could go. If Derwin James wasn't such a monster... That had a real chance. Actually goes down his receiving yards, too. Nice catch with Derwin James bearing down on you. All right, Lawrence is in the zone now. Jeez. What a tackle, Kenneth Murray, making plays out here. Good job, Robbie. 
And hang in there, Trevor. All right, let's finish the drive, guys. Come on. Double team Bosa. Oh! He was open, but the Casey Hayward covering a different receiver was in the same area. Damn. Ian Thomas, let's go. That high-low dead, dead eye is nice. When you're in the zone, you can just throw some missiles like that. Jeez, defense breaks. Okay. Just got to throw it away. Bosa bearing down on us. No reason, no reason to get cute. Good run, Christian. Makes it third and very manageable. Just a miscommunication there. I thought that the slot was running an in, and he was, but he took forever to run it. So we're going to trust the defense here. Great punts stay in play. Wait for it, let it go. Nice punt. All right, defense better be able to come up with a stop here. There you go. Gosh, Ian Thomas is just not shying away from Derwin James. That's gotta be 100 yards for him. Block Bosa, guys, we need it. In case, I don't think this is man coverage. Nice. Lawrence has a really nice release. Able to get rid of it before getting hammered. Let's see, if we just ID Boso, will, will Carson chip him? Woo. Lawrence is seeing the field well right now. Good run. Oh, what was that? That's one way to get rid of the ball, Lawrence. <laughs> Lucky that wasn't a sack. Oh my gosh, what a throw under pressure. Wow. And we get the ball back. All right, Ian Thomas is a big responsibility. If you can block Derwin James, this has a real chance. Kenneth Murray with showing that sideline to sideline speed. There you go, Christian. Fias a little breathing room. This is an exciting game right now. DJ Moore could get one on one here. Can you? We got two. Go balls. Let's just give us some time to throw. Let's push this thing downfield. Oh, they sag off. I'm going for it, though. Come on, DJ. Oh, where's the flag, ref? Desmond King showing he can play outside, I guess. Second and ten. Christian's quite tired. Let's give him a breather here. Oh, we had that post coming open, but we had to get out of there. Get it, Christian. Nice. He's got to be exhausted. God, I would love to show off that speed for Schwartz getting a chance here. We're going to take a chance. Block for us, guys. Freaking Bosa. We're going to lose way too many yards. Okay, we've hit him with a bunch of Texas routes. Let's see if we can throw him off and throw McCaffrey up the seam here. I don't love it. Let's just take this. There you go, Robbie. Oh, no, don't get hurt. I don't really care about you getting hurt, but we needed to run that clock. It does put Schwartz in the game. We 
we are going to have to punt it and trust our defense. A shoulder strain. So Anthony Schwartz, speedster out of Auburn, is going to get a real opportunity to prove it. Give us a beautiful punt here, Polardi. There you go, Troy Pride. Great coverage. Whew. This game is no joke right now. Incomplete pass. Sack or a penalty. Let's see what happens on the next play. They're just going to run it. We're going to get the ball with really good field position. There we go. TFL. Timeout. And here we go. A go. Oh. Spike it. I need that timeout. If I'm going to throw it over the middle of the field. Schwartz, come on. Do the thing. God, he's getting locked down. We're going for it anyway. God, that press was just remarkable. That was, we had, that was the only thing I was thinking about, and I had tunnel vision because I'm sure those slants were getting open. Fourth and two. Let's just take overtime here. Oh, no. Are you serious? You gotta be kidding me. I, I don't want to talk about it. I'm speechless. Got. Oh, oh, go. Oh, Anthony Schwartz finally gets deep. The Chargers, I don't know what they were thinking, but we've got overtime. I'm not going to play the PAT because it's probably going to get blocked. And we get the football. What a day for Trevor Lawrence. McCaffrey picking up the first down. Now he's in the zone. I would love to run a little screen pass to him. Of course he gets caught. And now he's not in the zone. Schwartz has the go ball. Don't throw it though. Oh gosh, don't get picked. Whew. Casey Hayward is just insane. I thought he was carrying that deep ball on like a cover four. He was not. He was ready to sit on that thing. There we go. Ian Thomas, baby. Huge conversion. Blitz is on. Nice play, nice read. Chris Carson, what a man. He's been a low key, like really good signing for us. The Jet touch pass to Christian McCaffrey with a bunch of numbers over there. Come on, finish the finish the game. Let's go. Oh, he's got a chance. He's got a chance. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what a play by Lawrence, but it falls just short. He doesn't keep his feet in. Whew. Carson. Boom. Let's go. Unreal. Game of the year right there. Anthony Lynn can't believe it. Neither can I. So Trevor Lawrence. 512 yards, five touchdowns.
McCaffrey was all over the field. Ian Thomas was incredible. DJ Moore showed up. Anthony Schwartz with an unbelievable play. Showing that he can play here. He might not be fully ready. He's still working. It was just a go ball. But he is ready to step up. He's not just a kick returner. And Robbie Anderson with that contract set to expire. I think we may have found our deep ball replacement. Defense really struggling. Zero sacks. Zero interceptions. So Herbert establishing some really nice... I don't know if I want to call this one a rivalry already. It's going to be four years before we play again. But just some, some nice narratives between some of these young quarterbacks. Herbert and Lawrence and Fields. Ian Thomas, a well-earned upgrade. Let's go vertical. Nice. So six and four, and we play the Chiefs next week. The Chiefs are two and eight. God, this game is absolutely miserable. I mean... Literally every franchise mode you play, Patrick Mahomes is just absolute garbage, and the Chiefs just suck. I mean, God forbid the cover athlete of your game be a relevant person in any franchise mode ever in this video game. God, that's just terrible. Um, but it is what it is. They suck in this game, so we're going to simulate against the best player in the league, Patrick Mahomes, and I'm expecting that we win. So here we go. And Mahomes must have heard us talking smack because he shows up, puts up a 35 burger on us. I don't think that's a thing. It sounds like a menu item at In N Out. Lawrence was great, though. Not going to complain about that. Mahomes just finally wakes up. Did throw a pick. Let's see who got it. Edwards Hilaire was great. Robbie Anderson returns from injury this week and says, Hey, don't, don't forget about me. I know this Schwartz guy's really fast and all, but don't forget about me. Defensively, it was a pick for Jeremy Chin and a sack for Brian Burns. A couple of guys that were big for us last year were a little more quiet to start the year. Demario Davis has been cleared. Uh, I think I'm going to just play Andre Smith. Defense has really been struggling though the last few weeks. I'm going to scout all these free safeties because Robinson at free safety just has not really cut it for us. But uh, we are 6-5 and five now. We play the Vikings this week, Eagles, Packers, Bears. We still have our fourth quarter playage. Now I think I'm going to save that for a different game at least. The Saints are 7-4, and four, so we're just a game behind them. Really two games though because they have the tiebreaker on us. Troy Pride does get an upgrade that we'll do here before we advance. Up to a 70 now. But we're going to simulate this week here. Hope for the best at Minnesota. It's never going to be easy. But here we go. Big win. 31-17. to Let's go. We're 7-5. and This offense is going off. Now, meanwhile, this defense is really struggling. We have scored over 30 points every single week for like the last month. Lawrence is just absolutely on fire. These receivers continue to split the load around. Defensively, the interior guys busy this week. No picks. So the Eagles are five and seven. It is in Carolina. I think this week should be another sim. We have upgrades. Trevor Lawrence. And away we go. This would be a huge win. We don't necessarily need it, but this would really put us in good place. Oh my god, 34 to 31. This offense has been awesome. We are now tied with the Saints. Look at these scores. We're averaging like 33 points a game over the last five or six weeks. Lawrence, just unbelievable. I don't know how he wouldn't be an MVP favorite at this point. We can take a look at the awards. Hennigan gets involved this week. The defense continues to struggle. McCreary does get a fourth pick though, potentially a defensive rookie of the year at this point. Let's take a look at the awards here. And we're going to have a decision on whether we'd rather play here against the Packers or against the Bears. We have uh, our fourth quarter playage remaining. So Lawrence has been just dominant. First in the NFL in passing yards, 34 touchdowns, 8 interceptions as a rookie. McCaffrey surpasses 1,000 receiving yards. Look at this just split with the wide receiving group. Beautiful. 
Defensively, we've just simply put been quiet. The sack numbers are okay. Would still like them to be higher. Um, but McCreary, really the story, uh, you know, 69 tackles as well. That's no joke. But what a pick he's been. Our offense is first in the league right now, by the way. Lawrence is second in MVP voting behind Daniel Jones. Talked about Patrick Mahomes always sucking. Never an MVP candidate, despite being the best player in the game. Daniel Jones, in the meantime, just loads it up every year and just kicks ass. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Uh, defensive player of the year, nobody. Offensive rookie of the year, though, Trevor Lawrence, no surprise. McCreary is second. It's going to be tough to pass Dylan Moses, who I'm sure is just racking up tackles. McCaffrey right there for best running back. DJ Moore currently best wide receiver. McCreary is second for best D-back. God, that'd be awesome if we could win that. He needs, uh, he needs to put up some numbers here in the last few weeks of the season. So NFC North. Either way, um, Packers, Bears, they're both 7-6. and six. Are they both? Uh, let's see, we play the Packers at home and the Bears on the road. So maybe we should simulate this, and then our last episode will be uh, the fourth quarter against the Bears and our divisional moments against the Bucks. We do have a collection of upgrades here. Brian Burns, it's been a while. Would love it if you could turn it on down the stretch here. Anthony Schwartz gets one, just going to stick with that deep threat. Ooh, baby. He's going to be ready to cook next year. Uh, and then the backup quarterbacks will just simulate them. So simulating this home game against Green Bay. And because I'm an evil genius, you guys are just going to have to wait to find out till the next episode if we won or not. Make sure you hit that like button. Cheers as always. And we'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.